Hey you six people out there, how you doing? I hope you're doing pretty goddamn good. So, uh, this video is about scammers um, and how they are. And you gotta really be careful these days with the, the amount of text message, the messages, the amount of phone calls I get from scam accounts, like just scamming all the time. Um, I get a, at least about three or four calls a day from all sorts of numbers, um, and mostly mobile numbers as well. And um, I get even text messages saying you've missed a call, and it doesn't. It's not from 101. It's from you know a, a different website. I you don't ever click on them. Do not ever if you if you have a missed call. Not from 101, but from something else. Do not click it. It's clickbait. Uh, they'll get your information or something like that. So don't click on them. So this morning, and and actually it happened a few oh a few weeks ago as well. Like a few weeks ago, one I got a message saying, "Hi, I received a text message from you." Um, uh, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't know who you are, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I haven't texted you. Uh, I don't know who you are. I'm sorry. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, and then she's like, yes, you texted me this morning. I said, I haven't texted anyone today. Um, I don't know how I have texted you. Uh, I'm sorry, but I think you've got the wrong number. Um, and she goes, no, your number texted me. I'm like, how the fuck is that even possible? So anyway, today, this morning, I get a phone call and, and, and I don't know, it sounded like a kid for, for, at the start and then it sounded like a, maybe a young lady. But um, I answer the phone and she goes, oh, hi, I, I, I've had a missed call from you this morning. I'm, so, I'm like... I'm sorry, but I haven't called anyone this today. Um, she goes, yeah, at ten at ten forty or ten something o'clock, and I was like, I haven't, I haven't, no, I haven't rang you. I don't know who you are. <laughs> like, um, what's going on? Like, so I'm sorry, but I haven't. You haven't had a missed call from me. Um, so it got me to thinking: can can hackers, can scammers? falsely like steal and make it look like that someone you, you that they're using your number somehow like I, I don't even know if that's even possible I know you can like bounce your um I know you can bounce your like IP address from country to country and to country to city to city like that, and your phone as well. I know you can put your phone on private and shit like that, so people don't know um, who's calling. But I don't usually use my phone to call people. The only time I use my phone to call someone is if I've got a message and it's saying on 101 message saying I've got to go, I've got to call someone, so I'll call them, or. It's something to do with business or home renovations, and I'll call someone for that. But oh, right. I was like, how did my other guitar get there? Oh, it's because we were putting the light switch, um, light switches in. There's a light switch. Just where is it? I can't even see it. What am I looking at? Oh, here. No, this is that wall. Oh, there it is. It's, it's, it's like blended into the wall. <laughs> oh, I just spat on the lens. Ooh, don't say it. Sp don't say it. Don't spray it. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, uh, I've been getting phone, like messages, like phone call messages, like, um, automated messages saying, if you don't, uh, set, uh, if you don't spray, uh, press one, you'll be arrested. Um, uh, you, you've, you've been, uh, you're, you're being, you're going to be arrested for tax fraud. Um, 
you're gonna be you know um so so many different ones um uh just just normal fucking like indians or or asians calling you up uh scamming you you know saying that um you got to freaking um do stuff but hang on i think i don't know what's going on Dudes at the front looking at stuff. I don't know. Um, I think he, he's a plumber, I think. Yeah, he's a plumber. But I don't know what he's plumbing at the moment. Unless it was something to do with the sewage stuff. The other day, um, people came through. Uh, they had to dig the sewage plate out, actually, which was quite strange. But anyway, I don't know what he's doing. Because, um, he's definitely not my plumber. And he's from Kojigong. Anyway, Kojigong. My, 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 my plumber's from Mudgee. Anyway, um, Andrew McKenzie. Actually, Andrew McKenzie was on, was he on the block? Was it, no, it wasn't the block. House Rules, I think. He was a contracted plumber to, um, and he was on TV, which is kind of cool. And he's such a good plumber. He also does tiling and a whole heap of other stuff as well. Um, installation, all that sort of stuff. He's installed my entire bathroom. Um, en suites done tile and, um, and that. And we got mopped yesterday and cleaned um, by my friend Jess, um, who does my cleaning. Um, I don't have, I don't have a mop. I don't have that kind of stuff and I, with my disability I can't really get down on the floor and you know scrub and shit like that otherwise it takes me forever to get back up again um anyway um yeah uh, look the scamming stuff has been going on for many years but now it's getting to the point where I don't like to be on my phone. I don't answer my phone. My phone is actually on the the no call registry for scammers, yet they still call you. Uh, <laughs> so I don't understand any of that. Like, um, but yeah, but that was weird. I get a phone call from a woman today saying that I called her. No, I'm sorry, but I hardly ever use my phone. The only thing that I use my phone is text messaging and that's about it. Anyway, um, I gotta get going. Uh, I, oh, uh, just so you know, um, I lost, uh, so, uh, all my stuff that I did have on my um, Alienware computer that I was using for video software and music and all sorts of stuff is I don't have it anymore. Um, uh, so <laughs> this means um, there's going to be a watermark down in the bottom here um, about Power Director. I'm not going to be able to use. I I I can't afford to buy. Um, buy it, buy it all over again, um, cause, uh, it won't even let me download, uh, 16, um, and I've got the code for it and everything, I've purchased it outright, they just want me to purchase the new one, and I can't, and I just don't have the funds, um, business is really slow, um, like, actually business is non-existent, I've got, Look at this, I've got all these cards and I've got about three or four more boxes of these and they're just gone to waste because I'm not starting my business up. I'm, I can't. COVID, I can't. Um, there, is, there is no events happening. COVID is just... 
I mean, there are events happening, but I also can't get to these events because of COVID. And don't have any money, and YouTube doesn't pay me anymore. And, yeah, I just, I, I can't. I, I'm just, I just give, I, I'm going to, I give up. <laughs> I'm just going to renovate this house. I'm going to sell it, make a profit, and, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with, I, I do want to buy another house, but I want to buy a really cheap house. Um, or, what I want, what I really want to do, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time, is buy a building that has a storefront down the, down the bottom and a, and a, like a, a living space up top. So I can rent out the, um, the store front and then I can live upstairs. That's what I want to do. So if I have enough money to do that and I, I might have to get a loan as well. If I, if I have a money, I have enough money, I think I can sell this for at least five fifty to five seventy five thousand dollars. So hoping I can and then I can then pay off the mortgage that I have and then I'll have at least around about three hundred thousand dollars or three seventy five left for uh, a, a a purchase of a establishment. A living space. Um, I don't think I want to live in a house. I want to live in something industrial, but in town, close town, close to shops, you know? It might be, I don't know how expensive it'll be, but... And then turn, in, turn the top bit, loft, whatever it is, into a living space. We know how to build walls. And that's probably probably the only thing we got we're gonna have to do. Um and maybe put a bathroom in. Maybe. If it doesn't have a bathroom already. But um usually usually top buildings have um bathrooms and st stuff like that. I mean toilets most mostly. Probably not a bath or a shower, but we'll see. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to buy. I want to buy industrially, not industrially, uh, commercially. And that way I can then rent the downstairs part and get money off that to help pay the mortgage or if I have to get a mortgage or to help pay for other things. Anyway, um, thanks for watching guys. You know what to do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.